Hello and welcome to the Vlogging Pod. Today we are joined by newly published author Devin Dickens. Welcome, Devin. Hi, thank you for having me. You're welcome. We do have a little bit of delay, so um, just for my audience and those who will be watching the video later so that you understand the little bit of echo we're getting because of the delay, all right? Okay, so uh, Devin. Tell me a little bit about Dade City, Florida. Were you born and raised there, or was that just where you decided to settle down? Um, I was actually born in West um, Palm Beach County, and yeah. I grew up in Palm Beach. But I moved here when I was in middle school, and this is just where I, I settled. Oh, okay. All right. Now, since you are a newly published author, I thought we would have a little fun. <laughs> are you scared? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I want you to tell me, since you're very new to this, and there wasn't a whole lot about you on the internet as far as being an author since you're very new. So what I want you to do is tell me two truths and one lie about yourself. Can you do that? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Two truths and a lie. Yes. I love staying at home. Okay. I hate shopping. Okay. And I'm trying to think of something else. <laughs> <laughs> Two it's truths, crazy. one lie. Um, I've been married for 18 years. Okay. Mm, let's see. Now, when you say hate shopping, is that online shopping or actually leaving the home to shop? Um, probably both. Both? Okay. Just say both. Say both. All right. So, mm, I know you love to stay home, right? Because you said you're an introvert, right? Yes. Okay. So, that's a yes. truth. Yes. yes? Okay. That's a truth. Yes. All right. Cool. Um, 18 years married. Oh, wait a minute. How old's your oldest child? <laughs> she, she's 17. Ah, you've been, she'll, okay. She'll be, she'll be 17 in October. All right, that's the truth. <laughs> I'm cheating just a little bit. Um, so the... <laughs> Okay, so the lie is that you hate shopping. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> I cheated a little bit, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since that game played so well for my favor, <laughs> I, wanna, I want to play another game. However, um, I got to pause it because, you know, we want to find out a little bit more about you. So now as I'm looking you up on the Internet, Okay. I noticed one thing about you, that October seemed to be um, a month that just really appeals to you. Can you tell me why October is such a special month for you? Um, a lot of reasons. Okay. <laughs> Most, my husband and my daughter were born, both born in October. I was married in October. Ah. Um, most of my family are just very born in or around October, my close family. So every year it's our, you know, we celebrate and I just love October. I love the weather. I love campfires. I just, it's my favorite time of year. Oh, that's awesome. 
That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you want to play another game? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So what I was thinking, again, because you are a newly published author, and now that you've gotten your feet wet and you've dived in, right, and what I'm curious is, yes. what would you pack in a bag, okay, and it be your survival kit for your next book? <laughs> probably is there a limit to how many things i can take <laughs> no but we're only a 20 minute broadcast <laughs> <laughs> um, probably my laptop okay. notebooks paper okay uh, yeah that would probably that would be, be it my laptop is my main thing okay so you, you wouldn't want anything else for those writing niches or or snacks or anything Really? Oh, yes, I love sour candy. Anything okay. sour. So, yeah, okay. I would have a bag full of sour candies. Okay, so sour candies, your computer, writing material is the only thing you're going to pack. This is going to be a small bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, I composed a little bit of a Kindle too because I have an addiction to reading. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so, anyways, um, I was thinking about that question. Do you want to hear what I would put in my survival kit? Absolutely. Okay. So what I was thinking was, of course, you know, the obvious clothes, you know, toiletries, and all that stuff. And then I was thinking, um, oh, let's see. That didn't quite work out. Um, anyways, so what I was, all your toiletries and everything that you need, you know, depending on how long you're going to hold up in small little places for your writing kit. So I'm thinking what really gets me through is, of course, my coffee. I can't survive without the coffee. And... Tons of gum. I'm really into the cinnamon gum. Don't ask me why. It's my new fave right now. And let's see. And I wrote something, and now I don't even know what it is. <laughs> um. Oh, I, I think it's my laptop. Yeah, laptop. I don't know why I spelled it that way. That looks really odd. <laughs> That makes a lot of questions real there. But anyways, that's what I think that's what I would do. It'd be my coffee and gum that would get me through. Now, of course, you know, wherever I'm staying, I'm hoping they've got food, because otherwise I'm so screwed. <laughs> hey, I'm not a very big coffee drinker, but no. I do have an addiction to Coca-Cola. That's oh. just like my all-time favorite. Oh, I get ya. Okay, I want to take just a moment. Um... And talk about your book. Now, I believe this is uh, Wim's book number one. And it's called Loving Damien. So tell me a little bit about this story and what it is about. Um, it's, it's just a romance. It's got a little bit of action, a little bit of suspense in it. Uh -huh. um, it's mostly that a girl finds herself having to come home and take on the caretaker of her younger sister because her mother passes away. Okay. And she just finds herself in a whole big mess and caught up in a, a family that's feuding with another family. Okay. Okay. Okay, so no, I... And, uh... Go she, ahead. They're, they're... It's... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's just... This All right, okay. Girl and gets caught up in a world that she had no idea existed. Okay. So let me let me break this down. So tell me who your main characters are in this book. Um the main character, the female main character would be Jasmine. Okay. And the male the male ca character would be Damon. Okay. 
So Jasmine comes in to take care of whom again? Her younger sister, okay. she's a four-year-old named Maddie. Okay. And how does, can you tell us a little bit how your two characters meet, perhaps? Um, she was looking, she had to quit college to come home. And so she didn't have any money to support her sister. So she had to take on a job at um, basically a strip club, but she didn't want to strip. So she ended up getting an office job instead. Oh, you! This is getting a lot more interesting. <laughs> are you with me? Did I lose you? Yes. Okay, there you are. Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> I was gonna say um, the whole strip cap. That now you've really piqued my interest. <laughs> she um, she has a thing for her boss, and she 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 walks in on him in a compromising position with somebody and. Gets nervous and decides she's going to quit, and she witnesses a murder, so she has to come to him for help to protect her. Oh, wow. There seems to be a lot of action. Now, I noticed that this is book one, so is there going to be a sequel to this book? Yes. Okay. I'm Can actually working on it now. I'm about halfway through with the first draft. Oh, nice. Is there any bit of teasers you can tell us about the second? Um, the second one is going to be about Damon's brother. Okay. And, and a girl that he's going to have, uh, basically like a secret baby romance. Ah, nice. Okay. So, um, what's on the horizon for you? I mean, are you, pl are you planning on continuing the series? Are you going to branch out? Or are you just going to feel your way along this series first before you do any other books outside of this? Um, I do have two other books that I've been thinking about. Um, it's totally different. It's not part of the series. I thought maybe in the future adding on to the series about some other side characters, but I really haven't... Really, the characters haven't really spoken to me yet. Okay. So now, what genre do you think your books follow the most under? Is it romance? Is there a twist off of that? Uh, mostly romance. Okay. I mean, I feel a little bit of suspense. Okay. Do you think you would do more su suspense books, or are you more comfortable in the romance level? Um, I really like the romance. I feel more comfortable in the romance. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Since you're again, since you're very new at this, um, knowing what you do now, what has been the hardest for you as a newly published author? I know. There's been so many hard parts. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, That's all right. We can talk about them. We've got some time. That's okay. <laughs> probably it's just knowing the right person to go to for help, basically. It's okay. Like, who do I turn to? I need help promoting. Who do I turn to? You know, it's it's finding just finding out how to do it literally, like right. You know, okay. So, what element as far as um, putting your book together, like formatting and and publishing, what has been the most standout moment, the most tasking that you've had to deal with? Um, probably formatting, formatting and editing. Those those were my two hardest ones. Okay. All right, so what would you tell uh, another author wanting to come up and publish what you know now about the editing and formatting? Is there one piece of advice you would give to them per those items? Yes, it, it really pays to have somebody at least teach you how to do it if you would like to do it yourself or to pay to have it done. It, right. it really will take a lot of stress off of you. Did you ha did you have that luck that luxury of paying someone to be able to do it, or did you have to work alongside them on your way I through it? I did it myself, but I did have I I did it myself, but I did have help with family that was tech savvy, so it kind of worked out. Oh, okay, all right. So when you're talking about your next book, did you give us a title by any means? I am still working on that usually the title comes to me but this one it just really hasn't yet so i'm 
finishing out the story to see if it comes to me. Okay. Now, what did you pull on? Did you pull anything out from where you're living for this book? I mean, have you... Or do you find that you let your imagination run wild for where you're placing your characters? I let my imagination run wild because I'm from a small town. It's pretty boring. So, <laughs> and I, I've never really traveled farther than the South. So I kind of just use my imagination. Okay. All right. I can get it right that. Now, how do you, are you, do you do a lot of research on that? Did you organize a board or put all your stuff together? Tell me a little bit about your process. Um, I kind of just winged it really. I mean, I didn't have, I had a basic outline and uh -huh. I researched, you know, different places and different towns and what they look like and a lot of Google. A lot of <laughs> There is some good information on Google. <laughs> okay, so what do you feel is your next process on this? I mean, you've gotten your feet wet as far as knowing what to do. You've done the editing. Um, you've done the formatting. Um, how do you feel about your social media status? Do you feel like you're going to grow on that? Or what's your next avenue as far as pushing your work along social media? Um, I actually, I have been um, starting a street team to help. Oh. So I noticed that, you know, some of the authors that I know and I have been on their street team. So I thought, well, maybe I should try this. And it, it didn't take off at first, but it's starting to take off a little bit. So I think that's, you know, promoting on social media. Um, okay. Maybe getting a Twitter account, a book talk or TikTok. <laughs> okay. So you, you said you were a part of street teams. Now, how did that necessarily work for you when you were a part of it? Um, it was real simple. I mean, it was, they just, um, usually the PA or the author would make a post and you just shared it to your social medias. And then from there, it just, everybody just started sharing, sharing, sharing. Oh, okay. All right. Now, do you find, are you finding it easy now to pick up people in your group? Yes, it, it's actually, I guess, it's actually kind of, it, it's getting easier. I'm, I'm learning as I go, but it's actually just, it's really not that hard. Okay. So are you finding that the people in your group are fans of your work or are they newly, are they finding you out as they're coming into the group? I mean, so they're new to your work. Um, they are new to my work. Some of them have not read it. Um, there is a few outside of family that have and have been really supported, and we've bonded and became friends over it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So when you talk about family support, how much do you think that's helped you as far as formulating this book and working on to the next? Um, It has really – I have a ton of family support, like – not just in my immediate household, uh -huh. but just tons. And they're all encouraging and, and, you know, very, very supportive. Very supportive. Oh, all right. Okay, so when you were, when you did your cover and stuff, tell me about that process for you. Um, it was, I had a lot of help with that. My sister-in-law actually is the one that helped me. She took the pictures herself. Oh, all she, right. Um, she edited them. She helped with the the font and the lettering. Okay. Now, are you just as an e-format, or are you going to branch out to paperback? I actually do have it in paperback as well. Oh, nice. Well, you are just moving right along. You're way in there more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this, since we're down to like a minute left. Um, what is it that you would want um, our listeners to take away from this podcast about you, not just as an author, so think about this carefully, not just about you as an author, but you as a person starting out in the business? Um, just that, you know, I guess basically sometimes just take a chance on somebody. You never know what, you know, you're, 
as an author, you're putting yourself out there for the whole world to see. And what does it hurt to take a few minutes just to, just to check something out? Right, right. And you feel that the same way as a person, as a reader? What would you want us to take away from you as a reader and a person? Um, wow, that's a hard question because I really <laughs> don't know. I mean, I'm so introverted that I, I, I really just, I'm a very quiet person. So it's not that I'm antisocial. I'm just very quiet and, and I like to listen more than I guess I like to talk. Uh-huh. But you know what? When when you speak about being an introvert, I mean, this is a quiet. This is a big leap for you. I mean, to be coming on the broad on the podcast and talking in a way, and we have people in the group right now, and you're actually, you know what I mean? You're you're right on track. You're verbalizing really well. So I mean, right out of your comfort zone, wouldn't you think? Yes. It, it, my husband was a big, you got this, you can do it. Because honestly, I was very nervous through the whole process, through publishing. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I'm putting myself out there. And he, he was just very supportive. And, and I think that was my main thing to keep going, right. to step out of my right. comfort zone. Well, I think you're conquering a lot of things. And I think there are more wonderful things are coming in your future. I want to thank you so much for being on the podcast today. Um, thank you guests for coming in this week, next, th- this coming Thursday, we'll have another guest on the show. Once again, thank you so much for being on and have a great evening, everybody.